Today we're going to look at Pioneer. for the Raspberry Pi. Hello everybody, today we're going to look, uh, be looking at Pi Amiga 1.5 Lite Edition. So this was recommended to me in one of my previous videos and I had heard about this uh, around around Christmas time and uh, I've finally got around to checking it out and I just want to give you my impressions on it and uh, show you a bit about it. Currently running it on a Raspberry Pi 4 2 gig version and it's a 32 gig image that you put onto your micro SD card and uh, you have to put the kickstart ROMs um, into a drive called kick before you get this all set up. It's made by a chap called Chris Edwards and he's got a YouTube channel and he shows exactly how to install this. It's pretty straightforward, but you've got to follow the instructions in order to get, to get this all set up. So uh, we are effectively, if I press F12, we're effectively in Amiberry. So we're, because we're running on a Raspberry Pi, we've got Linux underneath everything. And then um, above that, we've got Amiberry running, which is an Amiga emulator. And to give you an idea of kind of the configuration that we're running, we're running um, uh, emulating an O30 processor, but we've got the JIT compiler running. So we're running as fast as possible that this Raspberry Pi can do. So uh, chipset is AGA, but what we've got as well is an RTG uh, graphics card being emulated as well. Hence why we're able to get such high resolutions that we've got here. So we've got 1080p here and very vibrant colors. Um, I'm noticing a little bit of mouse lag uh, with this, but you tend to get it with emulated systems. Um, and especially I've noticed mouse lag on the Raspberry Pi when using Amiberry anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look around. Uh, so we've got a load of lovely icons in this. I love the icons on this. Um, it's very modern. So um, if you're used to a traditional workbench like me, uh, I prefer my traditional workbench look, then this will look very modern um, to you. It's a nice change. It's a nice change. I probably wouldn't use this as my daily driver uh, for using the Amiga, but um, it's a nice experience just to sort of like play around with. So a lot of work has gone into this and Chris has done an amazing job. So if we go into system, um, under programs, there are tons and tons of applications in here. I've been having a quick look and I'm just amazed with how much stuff has been compiled. Benchmarks, it's got to be done. We've got to run sysinfo. If not, somebody will ask me. Um, and then to do a speed test. So there we go. We're running at uh, 414 um, MIPS. So that's plenty fast enough and loads of games as well that I've noticed. So let, let's head to the games, which is going to be a popular area for people to go. You've got iGame down in the corner here. Um, I believe this is a special version with a load of patches so that it shouldn't crash. Um, but if we have a look in here, there's so many games in here. And these all these will all be your WHD load um, games. Yeah, as you can see, there's so much. This, this release seems very much for me like I've walked into a sweet shop or candy store if you're American and basically been told you can have every sweet in the shop. Um, there's a lot to take in here, a lot. Eagle player for your mod music and there is a lot of mod music here. Just pause it there for a sec. Um, for some reason my capture card's only recording in mono, mono today so don't worry, it does play stuff in stereo. It's just for some reason my capture card is deciding to be mono today. 
as you can see there's loads and loads of mod tracks in here so if you wanted to just experience a lot of modern music um, it's great for somebody that has been out of the meager for so long this is a great release to just load up on a raspberry pi get the kickstarts from uh, amiga forever and put that on there and then just having time to just sit down and having a play with this because i'm sure that you'll find definitely you'll find some games in there that you remember playing from from the past but you've also got the modern stuff so i'm not gonna load up amiga amp but it's very much your winamp uh player and this plays mp3 files there is a collection of mp3 files in here that i am not going to double click and start playing because pretty much everything's copyrighted in that uh reva as well is a is a video player so this this release is able to actually play um mp4 files from, and, and movies which is amazing for an amiga so we've got we've got some beautiful icons here we've got demos so if you're into the demo scene i recognize space balls yeah some popular ones here so many the font i quite like but then staring at the purple the color choices here visually it's a bit glary um maybe toning down the colors a bit i don't know that's, that's personal preference uh, for me and audio yeah you've got all your modules and uh mp3s uh games obviously um actually you haven't just got whd low games which are in here and categorized beautifully i should say a lot of work has gone into that but you've also got other games so like such duke nukem 3d now duke nukem 3d never came out on the uh amiga back in the day as far as i i knew that that was a pc title um and as well you've got doom a doom now that was that's definitely an amiga port that's that's quite popular um so you've got some really oh payback as well uh payback is your grand theft auto um some brilliant games in here uh, to explore but you've got your basic things like directory opus as well um in high resolution as well so <laughs> Um, not used to directory opus being having such small fonts but uh, yeah you've got your basic tools really which is very familiar even if we go into system um you'll recognize so like under utilities you've you've got your you know your basic clock and everything they're, they're still here this is workbench underneath it audio uh let's see what have we got uh well, we've got Octomed which is good what version Octomed have we got oh we've got quite a few that's nice got version 4 my favorite yeah uh so we've got Octomed have we got any Pro Tracker we should have Pro Tracker yeah Pro Tracker and we've got multiple versions as well awesome they've got the 2.3 F version as well let's see if that works Oh, oh, we crashed. I think we've crashed. Oh no, that's a shame. Uh, yeah, I think we crashed. Let's give it a uh, a restart. And then, oh, I've lost my mouse. Okay, that's one thing. Lost my mouse. Okay, let's just give this another reboot. Where were we? Not under audio. We were under system, weren't we? And then audio. So ProTracker didn't seem to work. That crashed. That's a shame. Um, I'm sure because there's so many things in here, I'm sure it's a lot, not everything has been double checked. Sound trackers, uh, a lot of different versions. The ultimate sound tracker. Let's see if that one works. Wow, another crash. Okay, and we're back again. Um, let's try another program. Uh, I'm gonna try in the audio. I, I really want to get one of these um, 
players working. So Octomed, let's see if Octomed works. Try load that up. Yeah, Octomed seems to work. You, that's really good. Um, yeah, and then if we go to there, quick and confirm. That's how you get out of that. Um, let's just try one more Pro Tracker. Uh, let's try 3.15. Um, I'm trying to learn Pro Tracker at the moment. Um, making some music and I'm learning on ProTracker 2.3 because I've heard that that's the best uh, version. But let's go with version 3 for the moment, see if that loads up. Yeah, version 3 seems to work. The mouse is a bit jank janky, but that seems to be okay. So it's worth experimenting. I'm, I'm guessing that not all the tools in here work. It is an amazing attempt um, and well done to Chris Edwards for doing this. This must have taken so much time to do. Um, and I recommend that you go out and check it out. It's an um, awesome release. So this is Pi Amiga 1.5 Light Edition. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video. If you enjoyed this video, Please leave a like and subscribe if you wish to see more and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.